OK, so with the skills that we currently have, what we're able to do is we could approximate a normal distribution with a histogram. So let's say we were looking at x being normally distributed with a mean of 40 and a standard deviation of 3, for example. OK, now using our calculator, OK, what we can do is we can look at... Um, the percentages that are plus or minus one standard deviation away from the mean, or two standard deviations, or three. We've spoken about these before, and I'll go down to four standard deviations. So how you do that is when you go to menu, and then you go to number seven, and then normal CD, okay? If you keep sigma as one and mu as zero, for the lower and upper, if I make the lower minus 1 and the upper 1, what that's saying is that I want one standard deviation either side of the mean. One standard deviation below the 0, one standard deviation above. Press equals, and I get the 68% that we've spoken, out, spoken about previously. If I change it to minus 2 and positive 2, I get the 95% to three standard deviations, we get 99.7%. Uh, and for four, minus four to four, we get 99.99%. OK? So uh, when we talk about this, we often say that um, we're within three standard deviations of the mean, the majority of the data. OK? That's usually what we consider. So let's say I'm going to draw this histogram. OK. Now, I'll leave a little bit of a gap in here, OK, so that up here I can talk about frequency density, OK, because that is really my um, axis for frequency density, for my height axis here, OK. So now I'm going to split it up into four standard deviations down. So that would be uh, down to uh, down 12, wouldn't it? So that'd be at 28. Okay. So I'm going to go up in standard deviations. Okay. So. If I was then looking at this region here, that's our one standard deviation either side of the mean, okay? That's got to represent 68% of the data. Now, if that uh, area has got to be 0 0.68 and the width of my bar is 6, then I can divide the 68%, the 0 0.68, so if I get it to a little bit more accurate figure, um, so minus 1 to 1, let's go for 68.27. Uh, let's go to two decimal places. So 0 0.6827 divided by the width of the bar and gets us 0 0.1137, okay? So, this is going to be my tallest bar, so I'm going to go as far as I can upwards. Oh, that's not there, is it? I'd be in my... Well, let's, let's keep that bar in, okay? Let's keep that bar in. Doing this without a ruler. It's not going to be particularly pretty. So, that is at 0.1137. So I'm going to go to three decimal places. It's so 0.114. So that would be my middle section. So then, if I'm going to go a little bit further out, okay, to uh, these now two standard deviations away from the mean. So if I get a little bit more of an accurate figure here, so uh, minus 2 to 2, we get 95.45%, okay, to two decimal places. So these two bars 
uh, plus those two will represent the 95.45%. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to focus in on just one of those bars, really. So I'm going to get the 95.45%. Okay, and then I want to take away the 68.27%. That leaves me with 27.18%. That covers those two bars. If I halve that, I could just focus in on one of the bars. So that's uh, 13.59%. So dividing that by 3 will get me the height of the bar, which is 0 0.0453. So 0 0.0453 is just under halfway, isn't it? Okay, so... That'll do, I think. So we'll put it in there. Likewise over here. Okay. So 0 0.0453. So we want to do a similar job for the next bit. So for three standard deviations. Okay. So... Um, we've got the 99.7, so let's get one more decimal place on that. So uh, minus 3 to 3 is 99.73. Okay, so um, 0.9973, take away the 0.9545, okay, leaves me with 4.28% uh, for these two bars, okay? So if I halve that, that's got to be 2.14% for one bar. Divide that by the width of the group, gets me uh, 0 0.007. So 0 0.007 um, is just above a seventh of this uh, group, so let's say um, somewhere around there, I reckon. Something like that, so 0 0.00713. Okay, so something like that. That's what we're looking at there. So, I'd reckon that the next bar is going to be 2 small in height to really visualize it. We'll figure out what it is though just for um, uh, the case. So let's try it out. So we've got the 99.99%. We want to take away the 99.73%. Okay. So uh, then we just want to look at one of the bars. So divide that by 2 and then we want to divide that by 3 for the width of the bar. So that gets me 0 0.00043, okay? So we're looking at, um, well, what would that be? That's, that's almost like a 20th of the height. Um, so <laughs> we're, we're very low down, okay? You wouldn't really be able to see it, I don't think, with the uh, go like naked eye. So that last bar has a height of 0 0.000433, okay? So very low down. And what you can see here is that we have this normal shape. I haven't really drawn it it's too well, but... Okay, so we get the kind of idea. So you can see this normal shape from this, and we can approximate that normal distribution using uh, a rectangular uh, base, so using a histogram there. Okay, so this is um, uh, linking it in with histograms and I the idea of frequency density.